Hello and welcome to another Golf for Your Friends guide where today I'll be showing you how to get the Can't Spook Me achievement uh, which requires you to get par or better on Haunted in Classic. Now the par itself is 67. I'll be showing you a score of around 46. However, even then, some of the shots I've done are so simple that I, I you can easily change them uh, to improve a shot or two. Um, however, I just want to go for a full-on walkthrough to show you just how much space you have um, when doing ridiculously easy shots. So, without further ado, let's get into it. So the first hole, what you're going to do is you're going to aim halfway between this peg and this corner. 2.5. And release. Now, occasionally, if your power is not quite precise or your aim is slightly off, you might end up hitting this ramp and landing in this uh, spot here. But even then, it's an easy free or it's an easy reset. But trust me, if you're just going for achievements, it's not worth it. And then hole two. Uh, the only problem with hole two is that your spawn, as you can see, is not directly on the central line. Uh, so when I say straight, I do technically mean uh, sort of parallel to where you your position is to the line. However, even if you aim on the line, you should still be fine. 3.5 power. And then you'll either go into the hole, maybe bounce to the back wall and go into the hole. Or uh, you'll bounce out of the hole and stay up there. Or again, you'll miss the hole completely, bounce off the back wall. And with 3.5 power, you should still stay up on the ramp. However, if you don't, just reduce your power to about 3.4. But even then, worst case scenario, if you do go down, back down the ramp, it's still quite an easy shot to make. So as you can see, I end up getting the hole in two. Hole three is quite simple. 2.5 power at the right hand side of this peg and release. Oh, I got a weird bounce that actually nearly gave me the hole in one. Um, this one to get in a hole in one isn't too hard. Um, you should be able to get it quite easily. However, it's a really simple two, even with the enormous amount of glitches you get on that hole. The hole four, uh, you can actually get a hole in one on that hole, which is quite interesting. Um, and you can do a two uh, going full power, uh, about one right, 4.5 up. However, I found it to be quite inconsistent. Um, so instead, what we're going to do is we're going to aim at the center of this plate here. Um, if, if you aim slightly right of the center, sort of, um, you should still be fine. Um, it's only if you aim at like the l complete left hand side of the plate, you might have some trouble. Um, but yeah, so full power directly at the center of the plate. Release. And you'll end up here. If you do end up going a bit left, what will happen is you'll hit this sort of cleaver. Um, and then you'll bounce down and you, when I hit it, I ended up landing on this platform. Um, and in that situation, if you're still wanting to carry on, what I recommend is hitting into this corner and then just say two and a half power, three power up this ramp, aiming to land up in, either in a similar spot or over here. But anyway, if you end up on this side, one power uh, parallel to the lines and you should be fine. And then again, one power, 0 0.9 Obviously, you'll have to change it if you're back there. Um, but just use your own judgment. But anything around one power, and you should be fine for that hole, uh, that birdie. Hole five, full power at the center of this uh, front face, where the two sort of circles are on the bottom. And release. Now, basically, the simplest way to say it is you want to aim halfway between sort of directly up um, from where your ball is and the right hand side edge. Um, half power, uh, sort of 
halfway in that distance and you'll be perfectly fine basically you just want to make sure you miss this and you don't go too far up so that you sort of fall off the edge here so i just say halfway free power and i found that even sometimes gives you a chance to go in i just missed um, but again if you cup out the hole you'll only have enough power to land around it um, and due to the angle we took we'll always end up on the back side of here and then from here one power suits me and i go in for the nice easy birdie so already you can see just how easy just doing simple shots are gets us uh, to below par all six if you look at this second so it's the second scratch so not this one not these this one and you want to aim at sort of the left hand side of it however if you end up aiming sort of anywhere on it you'll be fine uh, and it's going to put you in a position around here if you aim too far right you'll basically hit this and end up with a worse angle over here and um, the aim obviously is just to release missing that so you just wait for this to get around the corner and out of sight so sort of something like this and you should be, be fine so i'm going to aim at the left hand side of it wait for the trolley to come around and then release now i just missed the edge there but even then that would only put me up there and it just gives you a worse angle so if you don't want to risk it you can just take a sort of half power shot from up here to around my position and then you'll have a better angle and um, your main thing to notice is the trolley doesn't hit you when you're like uh, not moving um obviously this might change in the future but uh the trolley will only affect you if you're in a moving state which is quite handy for the second shot halfway between the pegs two power wait for the trolley to leave and then go now as you can see i just missed the uh actual hole in two so this is a perfect example of following the basic shots will get you a birdie will get you par but if you want to slightly adjust it and slightly risk it to go for the slightly better shot then that's all for you now hole seven i think the easiest way to show this is a pretty nice shot okay so the key thing to note is your angle of view here basically what you can see is the right hand side of this bit and this corner here so as you can see over there just sort of towards the top third of my screen and you're basically aiming halfway between the right hand side of that bottom and that corner and just go full power and you want to release the ghost uh, release it when the ghost is sort of half invisible like the bottom circle is half visible on the left hand side and half not uh, it's quite an easy shot let me just make my angle a bit easier for you to follow so full power release and as you can see it puts us over uh, for an easy two um due to the timing what might happen if your aim slightly off is you'll hit the this side of it and you'll put be put around this and then even then that's an easy shot if the ghost does send you flying just go try and shoot to each corner uh, to go over that is technically the safest way however i think at that point you're risking trying to get a bogey double bogey um so i think the birdie shot itself is quite easy to follow once you've done a tiny bit of practice uh, and the main difficulty on that shot is the timing but even then that's quite simple the hole eight full power not this peg not that peg but that peg anywhere on that peg will be fine and even outside of that peg will be fine i just aim for the dead center where that sort of white line is going up it full power sends you flying and puts you over here for the chance at a eagle you can actually get a hole in one on that hole but it's ridiculously precise hole nine uh easiest way i found to follow is see how this is a bigger square here as opposed to all the littler squares 
full power at the right hand side of it. You'll send firing down. I have occasionally hit a glitch where I basically end up at the bottom of the ramp, but then in that situation, you just have to reduce your power. Now, all we do again is full power, but at the right hand side of this big square. And I haven't yet bounced out on that bounce yet. I found this to be really easy and really replicable because I, I really struggle saying that word. And then once again, an easy bird uh, eagle. Uh, you can actually get three under, so an albatross on that shot. Um, and it's not too difficult. You just have to get the aim right. You aim slightly more right uh, and reduce the power ever so slightly. But there are hundreds of videos that I have done. Ghost Sap has done. A bunch of other people like Imbo have done as well. So if you really want to go for that too, um, there are plenty of videos there for you. So now all we're going to do is uh, halfway between the right hand side of this big square and the left hand side of that pillar full power you've got a decent variation but again halfway is not the hardest thing to aim at and as you can see it puts us over here to an easy two i think this should be a par four but they're never going to change it now Gets you close to 69 as well, which will be quite funny. Okay, so um, I'm going to show you a pretty cool shot on this because I don't think it's that difficult. However, uh, what I will show you is this. Free power, or what I recommend is slightly above free power, puts you at 3.1 power and it will send you straight forward. It will put you in the line of sight for a sort of two power put or there or there bounce. If you do free power, it just means that your view can sometimes be... Uh, objected uh, so uh, blocked is probably a better way to say it and then you can either do a small put out or you can just sort of do free power at an angle down here however the shot I'm going to show you is quite easy to do here you've got two scratches aim at the center of the left one so you see there's a they're slightly dark at the top aim anywhere on that dark a bit on the left hand side like so full power and release you've got a few millimeters around there that are quite easy um to line up if you do go too far right you will reset um and so if you're doing that quite often maybe just go for the uh slightly longer shot but i personally don't like that one as much uh, but that's a uh, pretty easy hole in two um if not hole in three uh, hole 12 I found the easiest if you look just above the ramp here there's some green jars in the very distance they're actually way over there oh look that counts doesn't a bit basically where that disappearing counts is those green jars if you aim full power at them what that does is put you in a nice position over here and you can go for the two however I'm just going to go for 2.5 power halfway between that line on the sort of connecting bits and the right hand side of that corner and what that does is puts me over here towards the hole without risking me bouncing out or something like that and then just leaves me with a nice easy birdie put but for example there you can easily gain a shot back if you want to risk it um, but i'll leave you to do that now hole 13 i found the easiest shot to follow is 2.5 power straightforward uh, again i'm not on the center line but sort of anywhere between sort of parallel and the center line itself uh, will be fine this shot's not that specific puts you over here 2.5 power parallel to the lines again it's not the most precise shot um uh, basically if you aim at this side of the ramp uh, the bulge uh, you have a chance of getting a one if you aim at the left hand side uh, you're more likely to get trapped on the edges and so you remove that chance of getting a uh, hole in two so 2.5 so if i wanted to go for the two i would have aimed a bit more left but from here we just get a nice easy birdie
Hole 14, ignore that. We hate this. Uh, what we're actually going to do is at uh, this corner here, notice how this square is a bit darker, so it's quite easy to spot at the bottom of the ramp. If you aim there at 3.5 power, at the bottom left hand corner of that darker squared, three power and then just release at any point. This isn't a timing thing. You won't get hit by the green. And then from here, it's just a one power shot directly at the flag. You've got a nice easy birdie. Obviously, if you want the one, you have to go for that straight forward shot, but I hate it. I really hate timing shots. Hole 15, quite easy. Full power at the right side of this peg. So right there. Puts you at the bottom of this ramp. And as you can see, there's a peg just at the top of the ramp there. It's this one here at 2.5 power. Now you can, and you'll see how close I get depending on how lucky I am. Uh, I've bounced out of the hole. Oh, sorry, I fell short of the hole last time. Uh, so let's see what happens now. This shot is really precise. So here, aim slightly left at a tiny bit more power and you give the chance for a hole in two. That is close to what the shot I use properly um, for my normal hole in two. So I do recommend that shot. It's most consistent free I found and it's a pretty consistent two if you want to line it up perfectly. Now hole 16, um, this one's a new shot that I've sort of worked out. It is a, a four, it's not great. It's still a birdie, but it's not great. However, uh, I found this to be really consistent. So one power at that uh, dark square. Even if you aim sort of anywhere here, you should still get the same result. It's not precise. So one power. There is no timing worries. We're not in any timing path. Now you're going to aim halfway between this sort of peg and the left hand side of this corner piece. You're going to go full power. So about there. Again, not the most precise shot. Uh, you've got quite a bit of leeway. And then from here, aim parallel to these lines so anywhere parallel to it full power and i found this to be consistent however this bit is the most inconsistent bit so i might get a bug or something like that this is well known about um it might just be my specific spot but that's normally what happens uh, you end up shooting over here occasionally you if you get a weird bounce you might end up bouncing down here which if you do nine times out of ten you'll probably land up right here uh, but occasionally you fall into this gap however then you just get reset to that last position where again as you can see i got up here second try and then from up here 1.5 power directly at the flag now even with that weird glitch I'm at a par, but as you can see, I'm currently 23 below par with two holes left, uh, which we will be getting eight on. So that means we've got around 12 to 10 because these two holes are both weird as well. So 3.5 power straight forward. Your aim is to get over this ramp here, uh, which is quite consistent with 3.5 power. Um, but even then, if you do end up just coming down here, just shoot over here. It's not the end of the world. From here, I like to aim halfway between this edge and sort of the left hand side of that. So about here, maybe. Uh, it's not too precise, but there are a few weird bounces you get with these cobwebs. Uh, so 2.5 power. See how lucky I am. Ooh, I got a weird bounce. So here, because I sort of ended up, I'm actually going to aim slightly more right. So let's try this. This is by far the least. There you go. So even with that shot, uh, I ended up bouncing down here. Uh, this hole I'm not a big fan of. 
from here just 1.5 power at any gap uh, obviously if you end up even further left than i have you have to try and angle the bounce but even then it's not too difficult or you could just take a smaller risk of shooting half power over here and then still get in the chance but i like to go 1.5 because it always puts me consistently here and then from here uh 1.5 will work i just like to go a bit less maybe 1.2 1.3 power um just because i like it when the ball goes in slowly but 1.5 still does work so even then once again even with a missed shot these shots are really pretty consistent that doesn't really make sense they're really consistent and even then i've still got a uh par on the last two holes so hole 18 is another really inconsistent shot but basically i found full power at the black line that is not it it's full power at these lines <laughs> long lines um and you land up over here now i have found that that shot uh, has given you a few different landing zones but i've normally found that if i go about three power of pretty close to this left hand side um unless you have obviously you land here um i found three power sort of gets me in a half decent spot most of the time uh, i can't really give you a precise shot on that because it is so cons inconsistent however um in some positions uh, you'll end up around here obviously in my position free power i ended up here so maybe i want to go slightly more left but again this is a par five if you end up in my position right now it's safer just to do 0 0.5 power um to the center of the gap um obviously if your line of sight is clear then just go for it and from here it's just full power now if you are too close you can bounce off the back and then come and bounce out but then it's just honestly it's so inconsistent it used to be a pretty consistent shot but i've started getting really weird bounces here um and then sometimes it bounces you in um but yeah so one shot two shots three shots can go in pretty easy but also, I would say you're more likely to get four or five on this hole. Uh, obviously, I missed the first shot, so I'm actually on five now. Um, and then from there, it's just a putt. But because of all my work beforehand, and even with the weird things on the last three holes, I've still got below par. I will say that the last three holes are really inconsistent. <laughs> like in fact so much so that for hole 16 the methodology that we uh the, the cobweb sort of area we completely missed that with a skip hole 17 we have a really pixel perfect uh shot that sends us down there in one shot um potentially getting the hole in one no sorry get, getting you the hole in two but more likely the hole in three and then hole 18 is just where runs come to die it's as simple as that in fact no one runs hotted anymore because it is so cons inconsistent at the end anyway that's the guide i hope it helps um i know these guides are a bit different because i'm talking over them and just giving you some basic tips as opposed to showing you the best shots in the world um and it's just because i want to get these out there uh I'm not sure I'm going to have time over the next few months. And I'm not sure I'm as interested in this game anymore. But I want to get those out for those that want to get the achievements. So, look out for the rest of these uh, courses. I've done them all. I already know where all the shots are. Uh, so, they'll come out at least once per day. But yeah, thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you guys next time.